All right, guys, cool drill for you. Wanted to talk for a second about our Phoenix plate rack. And we have a full video, so before I dive into what I just did there, take a second, pause the video. We're gonna put a card up above, link in the description. Check out the full product video of our Phoenix plate rack. One of the reasons I wanted to show you guys this video today is a lot of people think with a plate rack, you just have to stand still, engage all six paddles, or use them in a competition style setting. What I decided to use today was two sets of barrels. I've got them about 10 yards apart. And I wanted to have a drill where I have to, while moving, engage all six paddles and successfully knock them down. Pistol that I'm using is my Z320. It's X compact with a hollow sun, 508T red dot, and drawing obviously from concealment. So we're working a couple different things here. We're working shooting on the move. You could argue that's not a good thing for tactics or whatever. Whatever your position is on shooting on the move, I don't really care. It's a fun skill, it's a good skill to learn, and it's only going to help you improve other skills with shooting. I would just add one little thing, don't necessarily get too involved in the moving and shooting until you have a good foundation because it's really frustrating. It can actually hurt you if you're not doing it the right way. There's a bunch of different theories around it. I decided to set up a movement drill today. So from the start of the first barrel and to the end of the second barrels, I have to engage all six paddles. So I'm gonna reset the Phoenix so we can talk about it a little bit. Resetting is super easy. Again, the product video, we go over all of this different stuff. I'm also gonna put a link down in the description for the full product page on our website. But as you guys can see, these paddles are eight inches in diameter. So these are very, very small paddles. And the reason this is important is while we're shooting on the move, you could theoretically have a massive target that's three feet wide by four feet tall. It's gonna be very easy to engage. With this particular setup, I have a very low size target. It's a very small target, which is high accountability. So as I'm moving and I'm transitioning between the different paddles, I have very, very little bits of time to actually engage the paddle, break my sight picture to the next paddle and engage the following paddle. And this is just a different methodology to use with the Phoenix plate rack. And by all means, this isn't the only way that you can use the Phoenix, but I wanted to just show you guys and encourage people that you don't just have to stand here and bang, 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 bang and shoot just like you see everybody doing. Now it is fun to do that and it is applicable and it is still working that target acquisition and also transitioning. I would argue that if you wanna work transition stationary, what I typically do is engage a far left paddle, break the gun all the way to the right and kind of stagger back and forth. And what that's gonna do is force a larger transition because it's not really hard to go from here to here, but it is a lot different to go from here to there and you're really breaking the distance there. One of the tricks and tips that I would say when we're doing any movement or doing any transitions, and it's gonna be really hard to see on footage, but it's happening at a very, very fast speed, is as I'm moving and as I notice and I'm watching and I'm seeing a successful hit, my eyes are immediately shifting to the next target and my gun in like a microsecond is going boop and following my eyes. I'm not ever doing this and trying to catch up with my eyes. That's not a solid method of getting hits while you're moving or any transitions really at all. So guys, this is just one way that you can use the Phoenix plate rack. As I stated, you could use this in competition, you can use it stationary, you can race your buddies, lots of different ways to use the Phoenix. This is a little bit more challenging method and a challenging set of drills to use with the Phoenix. Definitely, if you have a plate rack, I encourage you guys to get out and try to do this. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about our products, leave a question down in the comment section. Please like, subscribe, and check out our website, tatargets.com. Check the links in the description. We'll see you in the next video.